Sashin Hausa na BBC ke magana akan mita 21 da 25 da kuma mita 31 ko kuma a shafin mu na internet bbchausa.com Masu rarwa assalamu alaikum Badriya Tijani Kalara wike muku sallama a cikin shirin mu na karfe 6 da rabi a gogon Najeriya da Niger wato 5 da rabi kenan a gogon GMT da Ghana To a cikin shirin za ku ji shugaba Joe Biden na Amurka ya gargadi Netanyahu kan harin da sojojin Isra'ila ke yi a Birnin Rafa. Amurka ta ce ta lalata tarin makaman da yan tawayen Houthi ke kai hari da su a Bahar Al-Aswad. A Najeriya kuwa kungiyoyin masu bukata ta musamman sun yi kira ga gwamnati ta basu jarin dogaro da kai. Gaskiyar magana karo balan mu akwai wadanda sun samu experience na sana'o'i musamman matan mu sun samu training a gurare daban-daban amma matsalan mu gaskiyar magana muna da matsala ta jari muna da bukatun agaji gwamnatin ta sa hannu a cikin wannan al'amar muna iya kokarin mu muna dauke da karin bayani a jamhuriyar Niger kuwa yan kasar ne ke martani kan hukumar yaki da rashawa da ta kwato biliyoyin sefa wadanda akai sama da fadin su ka ai kamar da Hausa suke tawaye a tamnin tsakuwa don ayata yi tsoro akwai gumagume wa'anda su idan har za a ma fadi a ce ga abin da suke san fadi da shi to kunnuwa ba sai saurare hankali bai ya dauka za kuma mu je kasar Ghana kan ziyarar shugabar Asusun Badala Muni na duniya wato IMF amma bar mu fara da labaran duniya a karin farko cikin wata guda shugaba Joe Biden yayi magana da Prime Minister Isra'ila Benjamin Netanyahu domin nana ta gargadin harin soji a Birnin Rafa na Gaza ka iya zama babban kuskure sama da Palestina wa miliyan guda ne ke zaman gudun hijira a Rafa wanda Mr Netanyahu yace dole su kai hari birnin inda Isra'ila na son kawo karshen Hamas President Biden during his call with Benjamin Netanyahu explained why Wakilin BBC ya ce lokacin da shugaba Biden yayi magana da Netanyahu ya bayyana masa dalilan da yasa yayi matukar damuwa kan aikin sojin Isra'ila a Birnin Rafa Netanyahu dai zai aiki wakilai Amurka domin bayani kan shirin da suke na kauce wa sanya farahula cikin ukuba Babban bankin Japan ya kawo ƙarshen shirin sanar rashin kudin ruwa tare da ƙara yawan ciyo bashi akan farko cikin shekaru 17 wannan da ya kawo ƙarshen shirin da bankin ya fara tun shekara 2016 Japan was a pioneer in cutting interest rates to zero at the end of the last Wakilar BBC da ce Japan ta kware kan shirin da babu ko sisi na ruwa a ƙarshen karnin da ya gabata domin sai sai ta tattalin arzikin ta Bankin Japan dai na karbar dan abin da ba a rasa ba daga daidaikun kamfanonin da ke ajiye kudaden su a asusun kudaden waje da ke bankin a yanzu kuma duk mai san bashin kudi ciki har da yan kasuwa sai sun biya kafin samu kamar yadda yake a ƙasashen duniya Jagorar yan adawa a Venezuela Maria Corina Machado ta shaidawa BBC ya kamata a ƙasashen Latin America su zauna cikin shirin ganin kwararar yan cirani idan aka sake zabar shugaba Nicolas Maduro a shekara mai zuwa a watan yulin barani dai aka haramta Miss Machado din ta tsayawa ta kara a zaben shugaban kasa kan zargin cin hanci da rashawa da ta musanta ta yi kuma ikirarin miliyoyi yan Venezuela za su tsere daga kasar it's obvious Maduro fears the possibility of of competing against to ce a bayyana take Mr Maduro na tsoran tsayawa ta kara da ni domin ya san tabbas zai rasa kuru'u da dama dan haka yake kokarin yadda zai hana ni tasiri a zaben to labaran na zuwa muku ne daga nan sashen Hausa na BBC Amurka ta ce ta lalata makaman kakkabo makamai masu linzami na teku guda shida da jirage marasa matuka uku da a rumbunan ajiyar makamai a yankunan da yan tsawayen Houthi ke iko da su a Yemen cibiyar da ke sa ido kan harkokin gabbar sa tsakiya ta Amurka ta ce makaman babban baraza na ce ga jiragen da kwan kaya da kuma na sojin ruwan kasar da ke yankin yan Houthi da Iran ke marawa baya dai na kai hara hare kan jiragen da kwan kaya da kasashen da ke amfani da tekun adin da kuma Bahar Al-Aswad wani jami'i da ke kula da sojin ruwan Amurka ya shaida BBC cewa aikin su na fuskantar baraza na sakamakon makamai masu linzamin da ake har bawa tekun ya kara da cewa suna fuskantar har hari mafi muni tun yakin duniya na biyu Sakatare jaran na majalisar dinkin duniya ya nuna damuwa kan tabarbarewa tsaro a Myanmar tare da kiran bangarorin da ke fada da juna su dakatar da bude wuta da inganta hanyoyin kai agaji mai magana da yan Antonio Guterres dai ya ce ya damu kan rahotannin har hare ta sama da sojin Myanmar suka kai wasu kauyuka a jihar Rakhin da ya halaka farahula da jikatar su da dama tashin hankali ya kaure tsakanin sojin Myanmar da kungiyoyin yan tawaye tun bayan juyin mulkin da sojin suka yi a shekarar 2021 kuma dubban 
tsararen hula aka kashe kuma kiyasun majalisar dinkin duniya ya nuna kusan mutum miliyan 2 da 600 su ne suka rasa mahallan su to karshen labaran duniyar kenan da la yanzu kuma sai rahotanni inda zamu faru akan yakin Isra'ila da Hamas mai bayar gwamnatin Amurka shawara kan tsaro Jack Sullivan ya fada wa yan jarida cewa an kashe komandan Hamas na aukun Marwan Isa a hararren Isra'ila na makon da ya gabata ya ce sauran shugabannin kungiyar ana da yakinin na boye a can karkashin ramuka ko kuma hanyoyin karkashin kasa da ba a san adadin su ba a Gaza kuma ya ce Amurka na kokarin taimakawa wajen ganin sun fuskanci shari'a ga rahotan Umar Masani Abdul Mumin a cewar Mr Sullivan shugaba Biden ya fadawa Benjamin Netanyahu cewa hararren Isra'ila a Rafa za su haifar da asara mai girman gaske da kisan fararen hula da ta'azzar matsalolin jin kai mafi muni sannan ya ce shugaban ya bukaci Prime Minister Isra'ila ya aike ta wagar sa Washington domin jiyo masa damuwar da Amurka ke nunawa kan shirin sa na kaddamar da harare a Rafa more than a million people have taken refuge in Rafa They went from Gaza City. Ya ce sama da mutane miliyan guda ke mafaka a Rafa sun taso ne daga birnin Gaza zuwa Khan Yunus. Yanzu kuma sun yi da zango a Rafa. Ba su da sauran wurin zuwa an lalata Gaza da sauran manyan birane. Sanan Isra'ila ba ta gabatar mana ko duniya da shirin yadda za ta ko inda za ta kai wadannan fararren hula a cikin tsaro ba. Wannan dai shine ganawar farko tsakanin shugabannin biyu na Isra'ila da Amurka a cikin wata guda. A yan makonni bayyane yake karar cewa dangantaka tsakanin su ta dagule kuma yanayin yayi tsanani ne bayan kalaman shugaban masu rinjaye a majalisar Datije Senator Chuck Schumer wanda ya bukaci a kafa sabar gwamnati a Isra'ila tare da zargin Netanyahu da zama musabbabar rashin zaman lafiyar da ake ciki Avi Haiman shine kakakin gwamnatin Isra'ila There is a plan and the Prime Minister has approved the plan Yace akwai shirin da akai kuma Prime Minister ya amince da tsare tsaren. Yanzu haka muna tattaunawa da Amurkawa. Sanin kowa ne cewa tun a rana ta farko sun kasance Aminai a gare mu. Abin ne nake iya tabbatarwa a nan shine dole zamu shiga farautar Hamas a Rafa. Akwai tsarin fitar da mutane ba tare da wani ya samu ko ƙarzane ba. Mun bude hanyoyi kuma zamu ci gaba da yin haka domin ganin kowa ya isa tsabarin tsira a Gaza. Sama da Falastina wa fararen hula 31 aka kashe tun soma wannan yaki a ranar 7 ga watan Oktoba a ciwar ma'aikatar lafiyar Hamas a Gaza Rahotan da Umar Masani Abdul Mumin ta hada mana kenan idan muka je Najeriya yayin da ake tsaka da fama da tsadar rayuwa wasu kungiyoyin masu bukata ta musamman sun yi kira ga gwamnatin tarayya da ta fito da wasu hanyoyi domin tallafa musu wurin gudanar da sanawoyin dogaro da kai domin kaucewa fadawa barace barace wasu daga cikin kungiyoyin da ciki har da self reliance for physical challenge traders association wada ta mayar da hankali kan samar da horo kan sanawoyin dogaro da kai sun bayyana cewa suna fuskantar karancin tallafin jarin kudi da kuma kayan aiki ga rahotan Zubairu Ahmad a yanayi irin wanda al'umman Najeriya ke ciki birni da karkara na matsi da tsadar farashin kaya ba ga sufuri shi kansa yasa wasu daga cikin masu fama da lura ta musamman ke ci gaba da nuna damuwa game da halin da suke fuskanta kusan a kowace rana masu bukata ta musamman dan a birnin tarayya Abuja na kokarin neman madogara da ta hada da sana'a da ilimi domin kaucewa bara da roko sai dai sun bayyana cewa har yanzu babu ni kokarin yunkuri da ya dangance hakan wannan dai ne daga cikin masu korafin da ya ce wasu daga cikin su na da ilimi na zamani kuma sun dage wajen neman sanawoyin dogaro da kai amma tallafi ya gagara gaskiyar magana karo balan mu akwai wadanda sun samu experience na sanawoyi musamman matan mu sun samu training a gurare daban-daban amma matsalan mu gaskiyar magana muna da matsala ta jari dan Allah dan annabi inda hali mu self reliance for physical challenge traders association na Abuja da kewaye muna bukatun agaji government sa hannu a cikin wannan al'amar muna iya kokarin mu ta yanda muke kokarin mu ga mun hana bara a tituna a farko akwai wani yunkuri da kuka yi don ganin cewa an share muku wadannan hawaye na ku eh gaskiya mun yi yunkuri domin a ta ministocin ministocin nan da humanitarians da kuma sauran women affairs bangaren mata dukkan muna rubuce rubuce hatta shi kansa minista na Abuja mun rubuta mai takarda su kansu kuma commission muna da takarda a kalla a kallon jimin na commission zai kai kaman guda goma ba kamar a zamanin baya ba da kusan duk wanda ya samu da lura ke tsunduma bara ba wasu daga cikin masu fama da lura ta musamman sannu a hankali na sauyawa inda suke neman duwa ta kafa mai tsabtar za ta raba su da baran wasu daga cikin guragun da ke zuwa birnin tarayya Abuja sun bayyana damuwa kan yadda suka ce an bar masarautar sarkin guragun a baya 
a ce wurin su gwamnatoci kan yanka sarakunan masu bukata ta musamman a sauran jihohin kasar Nan, Albashi ko Alaos, sabanin masarautar sarkin Guragon Abuja. Wannan ɗaya ne daga cikin masu wannan korafi. Abin da ke faruwa majority muna gani sauran makotan namu irin su Kano jiga da sauran su. Fadan nan gwamnati tana dan tallafa musu da kudin da suke take dan biyan sa Albashi wa annan sarakuna. Amma nan Abuja tunda Allah ya sa aka samu wannan sarautan yau kasance kara 115 wallahi ba ko sisi da gwamnati take ba wa annan sarakuna. Zu wani problem ɗin mu da ya tashi shi ke kashe muna wannan case ɗin. To mu muke dan hada dan abubuwan da ya dace mu bashi. Muna so gwamnati da Allah ta duba wannan abin da idan rahama. Akan wannan na tuntubi mai ba shugaban kasa shawara kallon munan masu fama rallura ta musamman Muhammad Abba Isa. Kanku akwai wani shiri da ofishin sa ke yi game masu wannan lallura abin nan tarayya na Abuja da masu sauran sassan kasar nan. Ita gwamnati ba za ta iya ta sharewa al'umma matsalolin su lokaci daya ba. Dole ne muke kira da kungiyoyi masu zaman kansu da attajire da kowa da kowa kowa sai ya kawo gudumawan sa sai ga cewa da an cima muradin karni wanda majalisar dinkin duniya ta sa hannu. Akwai shiri wanda yake za a raba wa masu bukata na musamman kulade wajen miliyan 12 sannan kuma idan ka duba a kididdiga da kuma shirye-shirye wanda ma'aikatan nan na jinke take yi shugaba Bola Ahmed Tinubu ya ware kashi 10 yace duk wani intervention din da za a rinka yi a baiwa masu bukata na musamman. Tun a shekarar 1976 majalisar dinkin duniya ta ayyana shekarar 1981 a matsayin shekarar masu bukata ta musamman inda kuma aka fara bikin ranar daga uku ga watan disamban shekarar 1992 masu bukata ta musamman na gama da kalubale daban-daban a koyi na a fadin duniya kin daga tare na cewa yansu a Najeriya ya kai sama da kashi 15 cikin 100 na al'umar kasar wato kemana mutun sama da miliyan 30 kenan Zubair Ahmad BBC Hausa a Abuja Najeriya to gaba jikin shirin zamu sake koma a Najeriya amma yanzu bari mu nufi jamhuriyar Niger inda shugaban hukumar yake da cin hanci da rashuwa ta Coldef Kanada Abdu, watu Abdul Wahid Jibu yace sun yi nasara karbo sama da sifa biliyan 20 da akai sama da fadin su suna kuma saran karbo kusan biliyan 5 nan ba da jumawa ba ya dai bayyana haka ne a gana wadda ya shugaban da shugaban mulkin sojin kasar General Abdurrahman Chani hukumar ta Coldef ta koma kwato kadarorin da suka hada da dubban takardun filaye da gine gine da gidaje da kuma lambuna kar watan Jumaila Isufu da yake bayyana halin da ake ciki shugaban na hukumar Coldef ya sanar da cewa hukumar ta samu jimillar sifa miliyar 25 da miliyan 466 da jaka 2011 da yan kai daga ciki miliyar 20 da miliyan 656 da jaka 962 sun riga sun shigo hannun hukumar yayin da sifa miliyar 4 da miliyan 899 da jaka 519 ke kan hanyar shigowa abinda ya sa in kasar da dama suka yaba sai dai sun koka da wasu yan kurakurai kamar haka ka ai kamar yadda Hausa suke tawaye a tamni tsakuwa don ayata yi tsoro a akwai gumagume shika shikai wa'anda su idan har za a ma fadi a ce ga abin da suka yi san fadi da shi to kunnuwa ba sai ya saurare hankali bai ya dauka to su yane aka yane magana su a aiki yana nan gaye mu abinda muke hwata kafin a kare wanga transition muna hwata yan Coldef su yi duyan da za su yi su kawo kudade da wayannan mutane da suka sato muna tunda Niger din nan ba na kowa bace mu mu duka ne mu abinda muke jira gare su ba ma wai a amsa kudi ai ai akwai wadansu 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 da suke nan kasu ba su satsatsan kazu na kaji da abun ga suna can kasu an kama an maida mai abun abun shi ne su an kai su kasu to wadanga kaka ne mu ba mu na in gane kawai na sato kun ko amshe kun shi kenan kenan gumi je yin sato kenan wannan hukuma da ake ce ma kullu wallahi aikin su yana ga cewa abinda muke musu hwata su tsaya su yi adalci ka a ce a amsa mu wane a ware wane ai adalci a yi shi da gaske fisi bidillahi wanda duk ya ci kudin kasa ya amayo shi ai miliyar 25 ba komi ce waga ta'asar da aka shuka cikin kasar nan da handama da sama da wadi da kudaden al'umma to amma tunda an hwara shine ke da muhimmanci ko da yake Alhaji Salisu Ahmadu wannan fafskafarar hula a Yemen na ganin rishin fara aiki da wurine yasa ba a samu kudin masu yawa ba amma yayi fatan ganin an amso kudi daga hannun ko ma wane ne ya rubuta cike da su inda lokacin da sojina ma da ba ai wata daya ma a kasar su ina ga a yanzu da kudin ma da za a amsa ta ya huce kana kasar mu mutane hwahwan kwari aka wa kasai 
ya zaman to abin da aka ga dama ne aka yi da kasa da kudi duke kasa mutane suke ganin kamar sun ci banza to sai mu ci daman dukkan rin da ya sha kwai kanshi za ta kare malam abba wani mazamnin yamaini yayi ba da wannan aiki na hukumar ta kwaldef sai dai he ja hankalin hukumar kan ta guji bita da kulli a cikin tafiya ta kasa in dai ana so a zamna lafiya to ramu gayya ko kuma bita da kulli shine abbai da kyawo sannan ko muna kira zuwa ga kwaldef ya kamata su zan sirranta aikin su bai kamata ba a ce yau kwaldef duk wanda ta kiran ya kafin a ce menene an ji an kire shi to wannan duka ya kamata a ce an dan ni sance shi saboda aiki ne na sirri shugaban hukumar ta kwaldef kanar abdul wahid jibo ya bayyana cewa daga ranar biyar ga watan febrero da ya gabata zuwa ranar 15 ga watan maris sun yi kokarin dawuda adadin da ya kai sefa miliyar 8 da miliyan 389 da jaka 983 cima ila isufu bbc hausa a abuja nigeria to na ka agogo ya kawo mu karfe 7 saura kusan minti 14 a nigeria da jamhuriyar niger Badriya Tijana Kalarawi ke gabatar da wannan shiri daga nan sashen Hausa na BBC. Ta gaba a cikin shirin muna dauke da labarin wasanni. Tuma da la Masana harkokin tattalin arziki a kasar Ghana sun fara tufa albarkacin bakin su kan ziyara da shugabar asusun bada lamuni na duniya wato Kristalina Christi, Christi, Georgieva ta kai ziyara kasar tun dai ta fara Ghana da shugabana na kufuwa adu daga bisani kuma za ta gana da gwamnatin babban bankin kasar da ma'aikatar kudi da mun bada shawarwari kan yadda yanda za su karfafa guyuwa tsakanin Ghana da asusun a daidai lokacin da Ghana ke ci gaba da shirin farfado da tattalin arzikin ta da yadurkushi daga ganar ga wakilin mu Muhammad Fahad Adam wannan dai ita ce ziyarar farko da shugabar hukumar ta asusun lamuni ta duniya madam Kristalina Georgieva ta kawo kasar Ghana tun bayan da asusun ya baiwa kasar ta Ghana lamunin dala biliyan 3 domin farfado da tattalin arzikin kasar da ya durkushe malam Hamza Atijani wani mai sharhi ne akan tattalin arziki a kasar Ghana kuma ya mana karin bayani dan gane da ziyarar da ta kawo kasar ta Ghana na ga cikin shirye-shiryen asusun ba da lamuni shine idan sun amince su taimaka ma kasa lokaci lokaci sukan kai ziyara su saido su ga wannan taimakawa da suka fara yi wani irin tasiri yake yi ma lamari na kasan baki daya to na ga ciki ne ita wannan managing director Kristalina ta zo Ghana don tattaunawa da shugaban kasa ta ga ya gwamnatin kasar Ghana take yi wurin farfadowa da lamari na tattalin arziki to gaskiya ta nuna cewa zuwan su sun ga Ghana tana farfadowa da tattalin arziki fi ga inda suke zata saboda lamari na karin farashin kaya sannan faduwan darjin sidi duka an ga cewa an fara samun ana magance su baki daya kuma ta ba gwamnatin kasar Ghana shawarwari da cewa ta jaje da ce ta tabbatar da cewa wannan matakin da ta doki wurin farfadowa da tattalin arziki abu ne da yake zai zai dore kuma nan gaba ce an samu ci gaba sosai duk da yake shugabar asusun lamunin ta duniya ta yaba da irin kokarin da kasar ta gane take yi a wurin farfado da tattalin arziki bayan karbar kasan farko na dala miliyan 600 daga cikin dala biliyan 3 da kasar ta samu daga asusun malam Hamza ya ce duk da haka har yanzu akwai saurarin na aka ba inda kuma ya kara da baiwa gwamnati shawara kamar haka zamu ba wa gwamnati shawarwari na farko ya kamata gwamnati ta maida hankali ta kula kan yadda take kwace kudi sa'annan kuma aba banda take tema kama lamari na tattalin arziki musamman harka na noma ya kamata gwamnati ta maida hankali a ga cewa muna yi fitowa da kayan noma da yake zai ciyar da mutun kasar Ghana a kuma kai wasu akai kasashen waje wannan shine zai taimaka muna muya mu farfado da tattalin arziki cikin gaggawa amma idan muka ci gaba da wa za mu yi dogaro kan irin kuri da yake yana fitowa daga asusun ba da lamuni wannan abu ne da yake ba zai dore ba in wannan ya daina zuwa to gaskiya masalan da Ghana ta huskanci sai mu ga cewa ma ya fi na jiya muni ana dai sa ran lamunin dala biliyan 3 da kasar ta Ghana ta karbo daga asusun lamunin na duniya zai taimaka matuka gaya a shirin da kasar take ta ce tana yi na yunkurin dawo da tattalin arzikin kasar kan gan turbar da take na habaka kafin annoba cuta corona ta yi kaca kaca da shi Muhammad Fahad Adam sashin Hausa na BBC daga Accra Ghana to idan muka koma Najeriya al'umar arewacin kasar mazauna jihar Lagos 
sun gudanar da addu'o'i domin tabbatar da zaman lafiya da wadatar abinci da arziki a wannan lokaci da ake fama da tashin farashin kayayyaki a kasar taron wanda aka gudanar ajiya litinin ya samu halartar talakawa da shugabannin yan arewacin kasar inda kuma aka raba jama'a tallafin ramadana daga lagos ga rahoton umar shehu yan leman karun addu'o'i da kuma na saukar alqur'ani mai girma na kasa ya mayar da hankali ne na neman Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shigo cikin lamarin tsagar rayuwa da yan najira suke kwana suna tashi da ita da kuma yi wa shugabanni da sarakuna da duk wasu masu karfin fada a ji addu'o'i domin Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ya taba zukatan su domin su waiwayo tare da tallafa al'umar kasar samun sauki daga matsaloli na tsadar rayuwa karanta alqur'ani domin Allah ya zuba mana albarka a cikin kasar mu ta Najeriya Allah ya zuba musu tai mu kwansa a dai ti a zuka kan su aka gudanar a gidan Arewa da ke a gege a jihar Lagos ta zo da raba tallafin kudi ga mutum samar da dubu daya da fatar samun sauki daga matsalolin rashin abinci da kuma tsadar rayuwa Jigon babban taron Akhtar Ahmed Abdullahi Kabir tsohon commissioner muhalli da gabar teku na jihar Lagos yayi kira ga yan Najeriya da su koma ga Allah domin dacewa da rahmar sa kamar yadda kowa ya sani tallafi ni ana yi komai kira ga sauran kungiyar musu ma su fito su kwatanta abu makamancin wannan domin a gaza wa jama'a su wanda yake zai dada wa jama'a zai kuma rage wa jama'a rarradin rashin babu halin babu 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 din nan ya kamar yadda na ce a gaza wa shugabanni da addu'a wannan kyautar da ya tazo a daidai lokacin da ake ci gaba da fuskantar tsadar rayuwa da kuma karancin kudi a hannun talakawan kasar inda wasu iyalai kan kwana ba tare da sun ci abinci sau uku a rana ko kuwa nake ba wasu daga cikin mutane da suka ci gajiyar wannan gagarumin shiri sun bayyana cewa so tallafin nan zai taimaka ta hanyoyi da yawa domin ni ba ni kai na kadai ba domin na san cewa ko wadanda suke tare da ni za su amfana ta hanyar wannan tallafin da ya bada domin ai wa kasa addu'a ai wa jiha addu'a ai wa local government addu'a to wannan addu'o'i da malamai suka yi da sarakuna da suka zo da altajiran gari da suka zo da duka jama'a gari da suka zo muna roƙon ubangiji Allah albarkacin wannan watan ramadana ubangiji Allah ya karbi wannan addu'o'i malaman addinin musulunci da suka yi saukar alqur'ani har sau uku a wajen taron su yi wa najeriya da al'umar ta addu'a bisa la'akari da cewa kusan kowanne sashi na kasar na fama da matsalolin tsaro da suka hada da garkuwa da mutane da yan bindiga da boko haram da sauran su a akwai kuma miliyoyin yan najeriya da suke cikin wani yanayi na tsaka mai wuya musamman a yanayi da farashin cimaka da kaya masu rufe suka yi sama sun kara da cewa a ci gaba da yin addu'o'i musamman cikin lokaci na wata ramadan domin dace wada rahmomin Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Omar Shehu Eleman BBC Hausa daga Lagos a Nigeria Tunzu kuma sai labarin wata ma'aikaciyar jinya dake aiki a London wadda a shekaru 50 da suka gabata akai matalaka bi da daya daga cikin mata masu gudu sosai a Afirka Ros Amankwa mai shekaru 72 ita ce ma'aikaciyar jinyan da ta fi dadewa tana aiki a asibitin Middlesex dake London amma kan gobe ne dai za ta yi rataya daga aiki bayan shafi shekaru 49 da tara tana aikin sai dai tun kafin ta fara aikin a asibitin Ros ta kafa tarihi a matsayin yar wasan tsere ta kasar Ghana kafin sirrar rahoton Nishant Lada Good afternoon girls how are you Wannan ita ce Matron Rose Amankwa wadda ma'aikaciyar jinya ce da ta taba samun lambar yabo kuma mahaifiyar yara hudu ce mai jikoki goma kuma tsohuwar yar wasan tsere ce ta kasar Ghana da ta taba samun lambar yabo If I was young now I would love to go back to her Dani mata ciya ci a Lagos zan so da daga yin ya kuje saboda ina kallon wasannin tsere irin su Diamond League na zakarin duniya wato World Champions da kuma wasannin motsa jiki na Olympics har ma na kallon wasannin domin da yi da su ta gano cewa ita mai baiwa ce a wasannin guje-guje da tsalle-tsalle na makarantu da aka yi a garin kumashi na kasar Ghana da farko ta nuna bajinta sosai ne a wasan dogon tsalle 
daga bisani kuma a guje guje kafin hukumar kula da wasan tsere ta kasar Ghana ta tuntube ta daga shekara 1973 ne ta fara samun ketuttukan lambar yabo all second african games in nigeria all ni ce ta biyo mafi sauri a wasannin motsa jiki na afrika karo na biyu da aka yi a nigeria na kuma samun lambar yabo a wasannin motsa jiki na kasashen afrika ko daga nan ne aka yi miki lakabi da mace mafi sauri a afrika yes i will either come first or second eh na kan zo ta daya ko ta biyu alis anam ita ce mace ta farko da ta fi sauri a wasan tsere a kasar gana da afrika a wancan lokaci yayin da ni ce ta biyu da daga cikin manyan nasarorin da rose ta samu shine gasar tsere mutum hudu a wasannin commonwealth da aka yi a shekarar 1974 a garin christ church inda ta samu lambar yabo ta tagulla ga kasar ta gana it's very very special to win that medal. Abin alfahari ne samu wannan lambar yabo saboda abu ne da zai daga bin ka a duk inda ka shiga a duniya. Ko a shafin gudu sunana Rose Kasedua na bayyana a sauran abu ba wasana so uku har yanzu ina mafarkin wannan rana. Rose ta bi wani dan uwanta zuwa London kuma ta shiga aikin jinya ne bayan shawarar da wata makwabciya ta bata. Asibitin ya kuma tsara mata aikin ta cikin sauki domin ta ci gaba da samun horo inda anan ne ta yake cibas da tsohon zakaran wasannin olympics a tseren mita 100 wato limford christie tana shirin wakil ta daga kasar haihuwarta a gasar wasannin olympics ta montreal a shekarar 1976 sai burin ta ya gamu da cikas saboda a wannan lokacin ne kasashen afrika suka yanke shawarar kaurucewa wasannin wannan ne yasa ta maida hankali wajen kula da iyalinta da kuma aikinta ta kuma samu lambar yabo ta azurfa daga wurin mahukuntan ingila ta kuma baje kyautar a gidanta tare da hotunanta da Rima Charles saboda a wancan lokacin bai zama sarki ba da kuma Tony Blair wadanda a wancan lokacin dukkanin su sun bude bangaren kula da marasa lafiya asibitin da take aiki idan ga sai da taya daga aiki to za ta samu lokacin da za ta rika kula da iyalinta wadanda su ma masu sha'awar wasanni ne rani ya zubayar kenan da fasarar rahoton nishat lada to sai kuma labarin wasanni a takaice ga muhammad abdu